Hello, everyone. As Christians, can we master our emotions? That's the question we're going to answer in this video. This is Dr. Todd, and I've been given a lot of thought lately as to how to help Christians master their emotions. Uh, we are to master our emotions just like Christ has mastered this universe, and we're in His image, so we are to emulate Him in everything He says and does. And so it is really difficult for some people to not get carried away with emotion. Now, at the same time, we're, we're not being stoics here as Christians and saying that we don't feel things. We feel things all the time. And our emotions are God-given in the sense that they move us in one direction or another and help keep us out of trouble. And there's all kinds of uh, benefits for our, our emotional experiences. The thing is, though, when your emotions rule you instead of Christ ruling you, we've got a problem as a Christian. So, how can we master our emotions? Well, we master our emotions by taking action once we start uh, realizing we're having an emotional experience. I get this uh, acronym, A-C-T-I-O-N, from Avery Willis in his book on the disciples' personality in Master Life. And the A stands for acknowledge the emotion. It's important that you put words on it to realize I'm angry right now. Because what that'll do is that'll move it out of your limbic system into the prefrontal cortex, which kind of serves as a, as a traffic cop and helps you move it around uh, to your upper brain where you can literally understand what's going on or narrate what's happening to you. So the first step is always acknowledge the emotion. C in the acronym stands for consider why you have it. What you'll find a lot of times is we have very similar emotional experiences as reactions to certain triggers or cues in our environments or even in, within ourselves. And a lot of those deal with past issues or traumas or just different experiences we've had before uh, that automatically kick in before we can really think about it. So when we slow things down and we acknowledge and put words on what we're feeling, and then we consider why we may have it. There may be a, a theme of, of, of you being disrespected as a child, for instance, and as you got older, you've made a vow in your head that I will never be disrespected again. And when that rule gets broken and that cue presents itself, you'll automatically get angry, for instance. So that's consider why you have it. You don't always have to understand it in complete detail to master your emotions. But as you're processing what's happened to you uh, forensically or on the back end, it's often good to try to understand the themes that seem to surface whenever you experience certain emotions and see if you can trace those back to where they became prominent in your life. The T is where we're going to get God in the problem. Thank God he will help you master this emotion. Uh, and that's a very that's a that's a statement of faith, but it's also it's also seeking a God ordained or a God centered perspective on the emotional experience you happen to be having. And that brings us to the next thing. The I is identify a biblical response. Literally, what would Jesus do? But how would the Bible have you respond to the given situation or trigger or cue that you've just now uh, had come upon your uh, awareness and, and and respond in a way that would please the Lord? which leads into the O, which is obey the leading of the Spirit. Uh, we need to respond in a Christ-like way when we're triggered in our emotional experiences. And then in, and this is really important, nurture the appropriate fruit of the Spirit. Our emotional life works itself out in behaviors and attitudes and beliefs. And those behaviors, attitudes, and beliefs for a Christian should be an increasing bounty a fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. And so what you're trying to do is link up the emotional experience you're having to express that emotional experience in the form of one of the fruit of the Spirit. Remember, what doesn't get transformed, in this case, gets transferred. So if you're angry, instead of exhibiting self-control or patience or one of the fruit of the Spirit, you will transfer that anger onto someone else. Well, I think if you will learn to take action when you need to master your emotions, you will find yourself growing in a deeper and deeper communion with Christ, and you'll love God more effectively, but also you'll love others as well. 
If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like the work I'm doing here, feel free to subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you won't miss any of these videos. God bless. I look forward to talking to you again soon.